What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Upper Moon for Han Tengu. I've done a different version of this character, so if you read the manga, you'll know what, I, what I'm talking about. But this is like the one we see in the poster for Season 3 of Demon Slayer. So, let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So his face is kind of three quarter, he's all gnarly and stuff. He's lots of bumps on his forehead, right? So his head's like a little bit lower down. So, because he's got this big bump on his head and horns and stuff. So, center point of my page is about here. We'll come down over to the left, right? And we start with this sort of frowning eye shape, right? So, it kind of like hooks up and then comes across the eye. And down to like a spike here. So, this will curve up the back. Up to there. Right, and then his eye in underneath there goes diagonal. Again, change direction again, right up to the corner. And he just has red eyes as far as we can see. I don't think there's a pupil or anything in there. No, they're just like red. Right, so no need to do a pupil. So around there, we have like all these bags of skin like underneath his eyes. So then just across from here, the nose begins, right? So it goes down, kind of bumps, and then down around the tip of his nose, real long and pointy sort of nose here. We've got a nostril. And then the skin for his nose just at the back here. And then like some wrinkles just coming down from the bridge of the nose. So his other eye, just in here. So we go again, a sort of a bumpy sort of eyebrow shape, just there. And then his eye will go sort of there. And then down. to there. So you'll see this eye is smaller than this one now because its head is turned away. We're in three-quarter pose. So in three-quarter pose we've got a bit of perspective going on so like this side of his face is turned away so that means this one looks a bit smaller than this one. See it's about three-quarters the size of it. <clears throat> okay, so his mouth, so teeth sticking out down here, right? Starts like right near the tip of his nose, comes up around the back, down. Right, then the other side will go down to there, and then it bumps around. So, and then fangs curving down this way. Another one, a bit of a shadow up here. And then we have another set of fangs sticking up here. And then here. And then we can just see his tongue going in there. And he's got some writing on his tongue. So, like some calligraphy kind of stuff here. Shadow at the back of his tongue, just here as well. Now, a line just for its bottom lip, and then its chin just kind of sticks out here. So, we can just see its cheek on this side, right? So, coming down from his brow, just its cheek in there, and then it comes down beside his mouth and kind of joins its chin just there. 
real thin. And then we have like another mouth line. And then his jaw, so it kind of like curves up and down here. And then changes direction and goes up towards the ear. And you've got all these wrinkles around this eye as well. And like a cheekbone line here. And then a real big sort of elf-like ear. So it goes around this way, real pointy. Curve around the top and back down into there. And then we got some ear lines inside. It started like that anyway. And then another bump sort of there. Yeah. Okay, so then across his forehead, we've got these horns and all these skin bumps, right? So his forehead kind of bumps up here. All right, then we have a horn that sort of sticks out here. And this round thing on his head. Right, so the, what to do? So there's another horn here. You just place them. Bottom of that horn is here. And we can see all of this one, so we'll draw it in. So it goes up. Right like that. And we've got some skin wrinkles just coming around this. Right, and the horn has cracks in it. Okay, and then, so this big sort of round thing on his head, right, comes around here. It's like a big ball. It goes all the way in behind, right, so. Right like that, and then we got like wrinkles that come down, join the head. Okay, and then the horn, the other one, sticks out just behind this. And this has all cracks. What is this thing supposed to be actually? <laughs> is it like just he got a bump on his head? Right, and then wrinkles all on his forehead, like all these veins and things. Like so. Right, and then it's hair. So you got like these, this hairline that just comes up from his ear all the way up to the back of his head. And then he's got this long hair that comes down the back of his head, so. Right, so we'll go, so long sort of hairline going that way. And then we 
got some spikes that like curve around here. And another one. That and then more that go this way. Like so and there's like all texture lines and stuff that come down his head this way. Down like so, and then we have more hair that like comes out from behind his ear. Hanging down here. Make some texture on it if you want. Then another one. spikes <laughs> just goes off my page there real long hair Right, so then we can just see his Adam's apple, kind of his neck just there. And then his shoulder, so more hair on this side, but the shoulder sort of comes down on that side there. And then, so that's the hair, there we go down here there's like other shoulder you've got a line that goes around this way right, and then the back of the shoulder is like here down like that His back goes down there. Right, and then like some more hair sort of hanging down here. And some more hair sticking off this side. Like that. And his hair is sort of all sort of black and brown. All going back that way. Okay. Hentengu, Upper Moon 4. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.